Hi, Phil Schoenberg here, Fast Pitch Power. Uh, the last blog I did, we talked about stride and drive and the importance of having an aggressive, explosive drive off the pitching rubber, which starts your drive foot through the drive zone, is what we like to call it. Now I want to show you real quickly what one of the most common problems in young pitchers is, and it's, it's, it creates a, a situation where you're having a drag through of your drive foot instead of a drive through. Well, what's the difference between a drag and a drive? Well, I'm going to show you. Many young pitchers, when they come off the pitching run, first of all, they're not loaded and explosive enough to get from here out through and to their target. In many cases, they are walking off the pitching rubber, and in doing so, what will happen is there'll be a rotation of the drive foot. In this case, it's my right foot. If you're a left-handed pitcher, it's your left foot. A rotation which will look something like this. Okay? Now, when that rotates, what's going to happen as I come off the pitching rubber, I can't drive off the pitching rubber now because I can't push this backwards with the side of my foot. So as I have rotated my foot, toe out, heel in, I am creating an anchor. And this is what many pitchers do. Now you could see my legs, hopefully, and my dry foot. And my dry foot has collapsed on its side, creating a collapse of my backside and a bend in my front side, which almost always will create a forward lean. Now, I need to drag this whole backside of my body through. It's really hard. It creates a forward lean in my body and robs me of a tremendous amount of power and command in the strike zone. Let's watch it again slowly. As I come off the pitching rubber, you're going to see what a drag through looks like, and then I will show you what a drive through looks like. So I go into my pre-motion and load, which is generally not going to be a real load. Carly has talked to you about this, the difference between a fake load and a real load. And as I start my movement forward, my foot turns and drags through. And you can automatically see right here where everything has collapsed. My runway is now rotating away from my target. And I'm having to pull this foot through on the ground, which is very difficult and makes it even more difficult for me to throw the ball really hard where I want it to go. Drive through, on the other hand, as we had spoke, spoken about in my previous post, keeps your toe and knee forward as you track to your target and is started by an aggressive push off the pitching rubber, keeps me in balance, vertically stacked, and enables me to fire and continue my drive through without my mechanics breaking down. It's extremely important for your runway not to break down, for there to be no down and up movement, for there to be no rotation in your torso and upper body, because you want to deliver the ball with maximum speed and command, fastball change up, straight ahead. We'll talk about the difference in movement pitches later on. So once again, in not completely fast motion, but in continuous motion, I will show you a drag through and a drive through. Here's the drag through. Here's the drive through. If you pay attention to what your drive foot is doing and you develop the ability to keep that drive foot, knee, and toe moving in a power forward direction, you will add miles per hour to your pitch, guaranteed. Come visit us again soon. As always, we're going to help you be the best you can be. Have a good day.